The centerpiece of a technology-led climate policy is investments in researching and developing, testing and demonstrating new, effective, and scalable low-carbon technologies and reducing the costs of current ones. These investments would be financed by a low fee on carbon emissions amounting to $5 per ton of carbon dioxide. That would be about four cents per gallon of gasoline or one cents per liter of gasoline. The carbon fee or tax would rise slowly over time, doubling every 10 years, thereby sending a forward price signal to deploy new technologies when they are ready. Why do we propose a technology-led climate policy? Stabilizing climate is a huge energy technology challenge requiring an energy technology revolution. Second, current low-carbon energy technologies are not nearly ready nor up to the task. We will also need to create new ones. Third, there are limits to, the, to which the market can induce fundamental technological change. Part of the problem is uncertainty of success. Part of the problem is attributable to the fact that if successful, many of the benefits are not appropriable by those who made the investments. And part is attributable to the fact that the payoffs may be decades in the future rather than years. Fourth, emission reduction and fundamental technological change pose a chicken and egg problem. High carbon prices are politically unacceptable. Emission reduction commitments will not by themselves bring forth the required technologies. Yet without the technologies, deep reductions in global emissions will not be achievable. Fifth, attempting to reduce emissions by brute force, that is without the requisite technology requirements would be prohibitively costly and won't work. Now Isabel will explain how a technology-led policy works, its relative benefits and costs, and some of its unique facets. Given our strategy of developing new technologies, we evaluate a technology-led policy in terms of its ability to reduce the carbon intensity of economic activity. This in turn allow allows for climate stabilization. We find, over the long run, a successful tech-led policy would contribute to a very large reduction in the carbon intensity of economic activity. This contribution would, of course, come at some cost. We approximate $100 billion per year in, in over the 21st century in research and development. When we evaluate this policy against a business as usual or no policy scenario, as well as against alternative policy baselines, we find a relative benefit to cost ratio of between 2 and 22. A successful tech-led policy has immense benefits either against a no policy baseline or against alternative policies. The benefits of a tech-led policy can be evaluated either in terms of the, of the climate uh, damages avoided or against the mitigation costs of alternative policies. Evaluating against a future in which there is no climate policy implemented, we find that climate damages avoided are anywhere from 2 to 12 times the cost of researching and developing new low-carbon technologies, depending on the rate of success of R&D.